Hey guys, so I had a fantastic idea that I had never thought of before from one of my viewers and I need to go find out what her channel name is because it was brilliant. Her whole comment just had so much good information. But she says when she has um, vines or bushes or any kind of vegetable matter, she actually uh, clo you know, uh, puts it in a bundle and then hangs it upside down and she stores it as hay later for the animals. Now my neighbor just brought us some really old stemmy uh, Swiss chard so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hang them from the drying rack in the kitchen I'll probably also take some out to the smokehouse to dry out there and kind of compare them but all you really need let's see if I can set this up so you can still see it hopefully you can still see it there we go okay so with mint or with comfrey or anything else if it has a really juicy stem, you want to be careful you don't have too many. And I also do something similar to this with my dehydrator. When I'm dehydrating, when I'm making applesauce, I save all of the uh, pith, all of the, the, um, the cores, the seeds, the peels that come out the end of my Victorio uh, sauce maker. I save all of that and then I put it in my dehydrator and I dehydrate it. And then I save that and I mix it with my goat feed in the winter and it makes a really nice grain replacement. That was too big. Let's take one out. So again, if you have really thick stem stems, juicy stems, you don't want too many in there because it won't dry properly. So I'm going to twist this up. Paige, can you go look and see if we have any of those S hooks, any more S hooks out in the garage? Can you go find them? Sure. I thought we had some more. Okay. And then I'm going to, while I'm waiting for an S hook, I'm going to connect this. Here, I'll show you first. So I'm going to put this under. So you can save your twist ties, your rubber bands, all those things to use for later. And you can see I have an earwig here. There's going to be little bugs coming out. I'm not going to bother washing them because you don't really want to wash something that you're going to be drying like this. Um, especially I don't want to dry it over my wood burning stove unless it's actually hot because then it'll cause rusting. So this is going to go to animals so I'm not going to worry about washing it any more than I would worry about washing their hay in real life. So there it is. There's my rack. This is just from a, a shelving unit that I took the shelf off and we hung it above the stove so that we could use it for dehydrating and drying things like wool and vegetables and fruit in the winter. So I have quite a few to go through and we'll see how it goes and we'll see what the animals think of it. If you're interested in um, learning how to raise rabbits or goats or chickens or anything like that, I have ebooks on our Etsy store so go check that out. And um, I appreciate you coming in. Hopefully this is helpful. And we'll talk to you later.